You get to decide, how's my day going to be? We want to be a way to start your day, lighten your load, every single morning. Today is coming up at 7 a.m. and we want to check in with Hoda to see what they're working on this morning. Hoda, it's been a while. Great to see you. Good morning. Hey, it's so good to see you, Adrian. We've got some breaking news. We're starting with this morning. All flights grounded nationwide. The FBI, uh, FAA is scrambling to fix a major computer problem. Tom Costello will have the very latest there. Also ahead, Adrian, we're going to explore a rather unexpected trend. Americans are buying less beer. We'll take a closer look at what's causing sales to go flat and how some bars are responding. We'll have those stories, and then, of course, we'll have a full recap of Hollywood's biggest party. We're talking about the Golden Globes. We're going to break down the winners, the moments, the hottest fashion trends on the red carpet because award season officially underway. That and more, and we'll see you in just a bit, Adrian, right here on Today. Back to you. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Hoda. See you back here at 7 a.m. All right, In-N-Out continues to expand east. The California burger favorite is opening up a new hub and restaurants, this time in Tennessee. The corporate expansion is expected by 2026. Tennessee will become the eighth state where In-N-Out operates. I just figured it out, I think. Remember, it's like, where's that In-N-Out? You know, yeah. it's like there's no line. Maybe that's the new one in Tennessee. It's not open yet. You think? I don't know. It's, it is expanding. I don't know that they're there they yet. built it? But oh, maybe. Because we're saying always a line at the drive-thru, always yeah. packed parking lots, yeah. especially at night. So I don't know. We're looking for that in and out. <laughs> All right. It's almost <laughs> 6 a.m. Here's what's happening today in L.A. We have breaking news right now. Travel headaches across the country this morning. An FAA outage has forced all flights in the U.S. to be grounded. We just got an update moments ago, and we're live at LAX talking with passengers. Also this morning, the storm has moved out, but we are still encountering problems related to the rain. Details on this overnight hillside collapse and the rush to try to repair this sinkhole before our next storm. And the Golden Globes are back. The award show aims to get back into Hollywood's good graces after last year's controversy. We're going to see who took home the night's top awards and if the big stars showed up on a Tuesday night. This is Today in L.A. at 6. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 11th. I'm Adrian Arambulo. And I'm Lynette Romero. We are so glad you joined us this morning. We're going to... Uh, she said it's just bad driving. Yeah, just bad driving. <laughs> oh, no. Back to the return of just bad driving. <laughs> oh, no. Business as usual, right? right? Exactly. <laughs> but you've got a lot to talk about still. Yes. Well, we've got that rain that's exited, and this morning, um, with those clear skies, it's cold. Yeah. Oh, my guys, I am cold this Ooh. morning. Bundle up, put on the seat warmers. If you're fancy like that, that's what Robin says. <laughs> Temperatures. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Temperatures right now are chilly by more than 10 degrees. Numbers right now are in the 40s across the board, even colder. In Victorville, you got 34, Big Bear 23. Look at that San Bernardino 44 over in Long Beach, 48 degrees. So it's a chillier morning. Skies are clear, but because the ground is so saturated, it's causing some areas of fog. The Inland Empire, you got some patchy fog, but it is pretty dense over in Temecula. You're down to about a quarter of a mile. Now in Long Beach, things are A-OK. -okay. If you look at this shot, a little foggy out there in the distance. It's going to be a better, calmer day. Winds are relaxed. The only thing I'm watching is a high surf advisory at the coast. I'll bring that to you the next time I see. But look at these numbers. Highs in the low 60s, mix of sun and clouds. It's going to be a cool day after a cold morning. The high desert will have 55 with lighter winds. I know they were howling yesterday, but today will be better in the mountains, 42 degrees. I'll be back with a look at your Wednesday forecast. And what's next right now? What's happening on the roads, Robin? Oh, it's hump day. We are checking in on an overturned catering truck uh, heading out of downtown L.A. Now, this was originally reported as South 110 to the West 10 connector. They've updated the location to West 10 at Washington. It's on its side. The tow trucks are on the way. That's the last update we received and your off ramp is closed. So West 10 is backing up to the five. The five is backed up to the 710. That whole interchange is slow. The 60 West is heavy and 101 North is heavy. It's going to be pretty busy out there. So just leave as early as you can. They still have uh, more time. They need more time to upright and clear that truck. 
It's going to be roughly 21 minutes for West 10 from the 5 to the 405. That's going to go up. Here's the 5 North. There's the slow traffic I was talking about. You see how it's slow from the 710. We're at 24 minutes and growing. That's your average to make it out of Downey from the 605 to the 134. And then here's the 60 from the 57 to the 5. We're at 21 minutes. Just know on West 60 as you approach that 5 101 split. It's heavy there. The catering truck that's to blame. We'll check back in on it coming up in a bit. Back to you. All right, Robin, thank you for that. New this morning, another mudslide in the Hollywood Hills. Mud, rock, and other debris came crashing down just before 1 o'clock this morning. Now, this is on Nichols Canyon Road. There's also a large tree in the mess. Now, cars can just, they can't get around it. The road is closed. It's catching a lot of people off guard because it happened several hours after the rain stopped. Now, we want to show you a live picture of the scene right now. There's no word on when this is going to reopen. We do have a reporter on scene. We're going to have a live report coming up in our next half hour. 602 right now and happening now. Crews are trying to fill this sinkhole that opened up in Chatsworth before the next storm arrives at the end of the week. So they've been using an excavator there to dig out what was left of the two cars that were swallowed up Monday night. And you can see one car essentially was reduced to smashed metal pieces. I'm going to give you a live look at the scene right now. The sinkhole has been expanding since it opened Monday night. It is now 50 feet long and about 30 feet deep. We spoke with the construction lead who suspects that the storm drain under the road was leaking possibly for years. The LA City Council has approved $500,000 for the repairs. And as we get ready for the next storm, now is a great time to download the NBCLA app. There's interactive radar, maps, and videos, and you can also sign up to get weather alerts sent right to your phone that are really target specific to your neighborhood. All right, 603 right now. Breaking news, a major computer issue has grounded all domestic flights. Within the past few minutes, we've learned that the FAA has lifted its ground stop and flights are gradually starting to resume. NBC4's McCall Medina live at LAX to break down this problem. Good, good morning, McCall. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Big sigh of relief for a lot of passengers here at LAX, really passengers all across the country. Take a look behind me. You can see folks here getting ready to go to security here at United Airlines. They are just hearing now that this delay has been lifted. That means all flights that have been waiting to take off can certainly take off here at LAX. That has been affected about 125 flights that have been delayed here all morning long, more than 7,000 flights, though, really across the country. Let me show you uh, what it looks like right outside uh, at the horseshoe. Gives you a better indication of all the traffic coming into LAX. The problem all centered around what is called the Notice to Air Mission Systems, or NOTAM. This uh, gives information to essential workers that involves flight information. It went down around 3.30 our time. They were trying to figure out exactly what was the problem, what was the glitch. Uh, they were able to repair it for the better part of the last hour or so. They've been retesting the system to make sure everything's up and running. And as you mentioned at the top of the hour here, uh, they have gave the green light to make sure all these flights that have been grounded uh, since roughly about uh, 4 o'clock, uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning uh, can now get off the ground. Uh, that's certainly some good news, especially for those folks flying out of the East Coast. We talked to passengers here, one of them flying internationally to Mexico City. He was a little concerned. Hopefully it's not some sort of cyber attack and hopefully things are okay. But since we're going internationally, it sounds like it should be all good. Uh, that is a big concern for a lot of folks, especially when they heard about this. And look at, take a look at what the uh, White House is putting out. They say the president has been briefed by the Secretary of Transportation about this outage. There's no evidence of a cyber attack at this point, but the president has directed the DOT to conduct a did and morning. The restriction has been lifted, and flights uh, that were supposed to take off are about to take off. We're live at LAX. I'm McCallum Medina. Now back to you. Good news indeed. All right, Mac, thank you for that uh, live update. One of the biggest names in Hollywood was one of the biggest winners in the first award show of the season. Mr. Spielberg, step right up here. We have 